no, we're not doing that today. <laughs> I just wanted to pop on here and have a little discussion with you about Sean Spencer's infamous B videos. Okay. Um, just had a few points that were stirring around in my noggin, uh, that I wanted to share with you about it. Um, one is he said the only time he's been stung like that, like this video was doing gutter work. So that tells me in his 30 years of lawn care, this right here was the only time he has been stung by these odd creatures, you know, and, uh, I know that I've been doing this literally a long time, many, many years, and uh, I've had many encounters with yellow jackets. Okay. And it's just odd to me. This is the first time for him. Uh, another thing is he didn't know what they were at first. I mean, he did on the second video because somebody told him in the comments, but, uh, yeah, he didn't know what these little ground bees were that they were yellow jackets. So that was, that was odd. <clears throat> another thing is, uh, you know, when he, when he drove up away from the nest and he got up to his truck and he got in his truck, he thought the yellow jackets followed him all the way to the truck. And the truck was quite a ways away from, you saw where he got stung. And I just don't believe that, you know, and some of you may disagree with me, but I've never seen yellow jackets fall that far. They will, they're aggressive. Don't get me wrong. And they're, uh, they'll, to a certain extent, they'll be with you, follow you away from the nest. But I don't think they're going to follow that far. If they were white faced hornets, you know, the ones with the ball shaped nest, uh, maybe, I mean, they'll chase you <laughs> and they're much worse than yellow jacket stings, by the way, as you probably know, um, that would be a blast to see him get caught by one of those. But, uh, <laughs> that being said, I don't want anybody hurt, but just his reaction, you know, and we'll get to that in a minute. Um, yeah, I don't think they followed him. What they did was, uh, they got in his clothes. They got all up in his clothes and then he took them with him to his truck, got in his truck and he had them all in his clothes and, you know, inside of his truck, which brings us to the truck. Why did you stay in the truck? Why did you keep, you know, driving down the, the thing there and staying in the cab for so long with these yellow jackets. Get out. I mean, you were in the woods. You could have just got out and kind of took everything you could off, you know, and got, got them off of you. <clears throat> but he had in his head that they followed him. And uh, that was just weird to me that he stayed in the truck. And maybe he just didn't know, you know. Um, the, and the, here's another thing, the literal title of his video was worst experience of my life. Those are big words. You know what I mean? If, uh, getting stung by some yellow jackets and don't get me wrong, it sucks. You know, I'm not saying that it doesn't. Um, if getting stung by some yellow jackets is the worst experience that you've ever had in your life, then you're very, you've been very blessed. You, you literally have been very, very blessed in life for that to be the worst thing that's happened to you in life, you know? <laughs> so that, that's weird. <clears throat> and, uh, he's very blessed and very lucky that he's not allergic, you know? I myself, I'm not allergic either, but um, King Brando, on the other hand, is pretty allergic. And when he gets stung, if he had got stung like that, he would have, it would probably been in trouble all around his neck and face. Um, <clears throat> but King Brando, he can get stung on the hand and it'll swell up like a balloon and his fingers will look like hot dogs. You know, um, so he, he is very blessed that he wasn't allergic. Um, 
all that being said, I talked to the phone, uh, talked on the phone. I didn't talk to the phone itself. You know, I talked to the guy on the other end. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Shane, DOT Lawn Care. I uh, was talking to him and kind of asking him about it. And it, it kind of sounded to me like maybe they don't have yellow jackets as much as we have down here in the South. It, it, it didn't sound like they, he's encountered them as much. We encounter them probably at least you know, a couple of times a year. Um, not getting stung, but you'll see the nest. You learn to look, you know, if you're, <clears throat> if you're riding along mowing and uh, you just keep an eye ahead of you where you've already done your uh, uh, last pass. And if you see like the telltale uh, <laughs> yellow jackets doing this above the ground, you know not to go back there right at that moment. Um, but Sean, in his defense, he, he did go, you know, he, he was on that vent track and he went down like that. He couldn't go forward into the pond, so he did have to back up over that nest. So, I mean, there's, it is what it is in that case. But, um, sounds like they might not encounter them. Let me know in the comments below. If you're from up north, do you encounter yellow jackets often? We do here, I can tell you that. And you kind of learn what to look for. Um, I don't know why he kept filming. You know, why keep filming if you're just getting attacked in a uh, cab of a truck full of yellow jackets? <laughs> uh, he's dedicated to his filming, I give him that. Um, <clears throat> There's that, and then why go on, you know, the whole thing was, uh, like I said, it sucks getting stung uh, by yellow jackets, but he went on and on and on about it, and it was the worst thing ever, and it was just, a, a, just a, he was so uh, attacked and, and just, uh, 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 you know, and that's what kind of made it. Like I said, you don't want to see people in pain, but um, that's what made it amusing looking to me it was his, his reaction to it, you know. Um, he also said in the video, uh, for those of you that want to see me in pain, here, here you go, here it is. You know, which is a, a weird thing to say. He must get a lot of, uh, he must know that a lot of people are not fond of him, but, and I'm not fond, I'm not a big, I'm not a fan, but I don't want to see anybody, you know, suffering. Um, but like I said, just his reaction to it all was, uh, was uh, kind of amusing. Um, then we'll move on here at the end. We'll move on to his follow-up video where he uh, buys a bee suit, or however he got it, and um, which is ridiculous, you know. <laughs> and then uh, he goes up, he finally finds the nest, which, uh, you know, he had to drag the video out to get the minutes he needs to make some money off his videos. And um, he finally finds the nest and then he proceeds to go up there and he pours gas on it. Then he pours a long strip of gas away from it and then he lights it on fire to do his BBQ thing. And uh, I'll just tell you now, and you know, some of you may not know this, <clears throat> but um, all you have to do all he had to do was find that nest, you know, get somewhere close to it and you'll see them start coming out. They're not going to just all of a sudden, unless you're standing on top of it, come out and cover you. Uh, just find out where it is, you know, where you can see them hovering above the hole. You just sneak up on it. I've done this a thousand times. I'm telling you right now, you sneak up on it, 
pour the gasoline down in the hole and guess what? You're done. You don't have to light it on fire. <laughs> uh, it'll, it'll get them. You know, they're done. They're done for. You'll still see some flying in from where they were not in the hole, the nest, while you poured it down there, but there will be more. Of, at that point, they're more docile. They're not uh, coming after you because they're freaked out about not being able to, you know, they're preoccupied at that point. So, uh, then what you do is you just wait for a while. Don't just don't mow that area right there for a bit, a day or whatever. And then you can go back and mow over it cause it'll be gone. I promise. And, uh, if I were him, I wouldn't have a used gasoline on video pouring it in a hole because you know, you just don't want to do that on video. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> uh, that's what he should have done in all reality. Uh, if he didn't want to make money off a video, which is fine. Um, <clears throat> the sneak up on the hole, pour it in, don't catch it on fire and you're done. <laughs> okay. And that's, that's really all I've got to say about this whole thing. But, uh, it was kind of silly and kind of amusing to watch him, uh, literally just freaking out. Okay. And uh, until next time, <laughs> keep moving. No, we're not doing that. See you later. This has been a Lone Stars Dramedy Network presentation dolling.